Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. Can I get you a scoop for that then? What is your. And into another new hour. Insensitivity training for a politically correct world. And ladies and gentlemen, it's Tuesday morning. It's July the 23rd, 2024. And as he uh, takes his position in the studio, it's the triumphant return of Seabass. Yeah. There he is, guys. What? Wow. Oh, my God. What? Look who's here. Crazy. Incredible. Wow. Look who's here. Seabass, Gina, Gina Seabass. Hi. Just a reintroduction. Yeah. <laughs> who's this? Uh, she was uh, sitting in for you since you've been gone. How was it? I know, you, I know you can't say much, so I'm not going to ask too Yes, I've signed very top secret documents, but yeah. it will be. Uh, I'll be on TV, probably uh, viewed by a couple hundred million people. Nice. Is that all? That's all. <laughs> is this okay. like you being Seabass? No, you no, that's, a, that's a very big clue as to what sort of project this yeah. is. So, uh, yeah, either the Super Bowl or something else that gets hundreds, <laughs> of, <laughs> that gets hundreds uh, of millions of views. The was Real it, Housewives reunion? Was, <laughs> it, uh, <laughs> was it fun? Uh, was that, it, that, you know, that's... I, can, I, can I not... Well, it's always fun for me because I can come back here and talk about it. So even if it's crappy, I can have fun complaining. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that'll, that'll all be... Dis- I can't I, wait. As soon as this episode comes out, we can talk all about it. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Well, Whatever welcome, this Welcome is. back. Any slams while you were gone? Like, how does that work? I suppose that is part, <laughs> not part of the NDAs. I can talk yeah. about any sexual yeah. adventures. Yeah. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, what, what sexual things <laughs> any happen? Any sexual <laughs> adventures? <laughs> uh, well, because, like, you weren't allowed to have your phone. You weren't allowed to be on the internet. So, like, what do you do? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, there's a lot. Joe, nonstop. Right. Well, the problem is there's always cameras around. So. Uh, okay. Unfo- like, unlike the Jersey Shore where they give you a, a sheet. Oh, right. Yeah. And then, right. And there's like lumps, Privacy sheet. There's lumps moving underneath the... <laughs> right. Yeah. But like, what, so what are they... Like, what do you do Not in a whole the downtime? Lot. Well, a lot of these type of shows, they you would want to kind of get to know people because maybe there's a social component. Perhaps there's voting. Maybe there's strategy. Uh, yeah. Maybe there's right. strategy. Yeah. You the wanna, Tribune. Alliances, things right. of that nature. Mm-hmm. So a lot of folks do that uh, if, if, they des- if they so desire. And I have to kind of force myself to a little bit. <laughs> yeah. You don't say. Because you don't want to be that weirdo. Because if he yes, I don't want to deal with him. Yeah, he's out. Yeah. Uh, that must have been really <laughs> difficult for you. I know. Yeah. Talk about acting. I yeah, know. Exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's the stress. Your the Emmy Oscar is on the way. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, See, that's for saying hi. Uh, <laughs> yeah, exactly. I would look forward to being able to hear, hear all about it. You said how long? What, uh, what probably a few weeks. A few weeks? Oh, yeah. wow. Nice. Oh, that's that's pretty quick turnaround. Yeah. Okay, cool. Well, but welcome back. We are out here. Seabass is here, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back from the sexual escapade. Yeah. 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 One of it's, the, uh, it's been fun pretending to be Lady Seabass. Right. One of, the, uh, one of the stories this morning that a lot of people were talking about, I guess a few days ago, this woman ordered some pizza and some mac and cheese from California Pizza Kitchen. Ooh. Okay, sweet. And I like both. Yeah, so I like, so good. I like their Thai chicken pizza. Oh. So good. I like all their stuff. I and like mac and cheese chicken. is always really good because the kids never finish it, oh, so sure. I get to. If you're a pizza place, do you need mac and cheese? Oh, for I kids. Know, right? yeah. I, well, but that's pizza. Yeah, but they also have other stuff on the menu. They do have some pasta dishes. Yeah. Ooh. No, Giant think, salads. Don't they have like pot yeah. stickers that are pretty good? Yeah. I forget what those are called. Those are, um, yeah. I'm looking yeah, they're not like menu. pot sticker pot stickers. They're dumplings. They're like chicken, ginger, Ooh. but they have, yeah. like a, they have a spicy sauce on them. Those Ooh. are good. Yeah. I've never ordered yeah, those. I forget what those are called. Anyway, the delivery arrives. There was pizza. And then just a container of cheese, like cheese sauce, no noodles. Oh. So she calls the restaurant. Two different people told her they didn't make a mistake that you need to specifically order the noodles or you'll just get cheese when you order mac and cheese. Now, what? <laughs> I don't know how the delivery part works, but I know when you're at the restaurant, because we've ordered mac and cheese a number of times for the kids, it always comes with the noodles. We didn't have to specify. Anyway, here she is online. I ordered mac and cheese from California Pizza Kitchen, and they just sent me cheese. Just cheese. No ma- <laughs> There's no noodles. There's no noodles. There's just some bread. I just called CPK, and two separate people told me that I should order the noodles separately and that I ordered wrong. I was like, I ordered mac and cheese, and they said, yes, that's what that is. And I was like, no. Mac and cheese is mac and cheese. Right. There's supposed to be macaroni in it. Right. That's, that's, it's in the name. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, that's just um, and cheese. Not only did the <laughs> California Pizza Kitchen apologize, they sent her a package with a ton of dry noodles and a card letting her know that they're giving her free mac and cheese and free mm. pizza for the rest of the year. Oh, actually, for a whole year. Ooh. It's for the rest of the year that we benefit. Her messed up order, they're giving everybody, even us, 
half off mac and cheese for the rest of this month, nice. which means now wow. through next Wednesday. <laughs> okay. What an incentive. Wow. I hey. don't know if they had that item we're talking about anymore. I'm looking it up. Pot sticker joints? Yeah. Yeah, they're not called pot stickers. They're called, they're called... the wedge? No. No, That's it's a not salad. a salad. Is it called no. tomato basil bisque? No. <laughs> Get it. no <laughs> Is dude. it dynamite shrimp? <laughs> <laughs> Is it called <laughs> Caesar salad? <laughs> they have avocado club egg rolls, which I've never are tried. Those are amazing. <laughs> but Let's Szechuan see. chicken dumper? Really? That's them. Yeah, okay, yeah. Oh, that's is a that, dem. Is that under main plates? Or? Under, no, it's under uh, it's starters? under appetizers. Is that yes. under pastas? <laughs> is it? <laughs> yeah. yeah, are these dumplings? I'm, I'm looking at the same guy. Yeah, soy ginger chili sauce. Yes. Okay. Fresh cilantro. Starters. Oh, yeah, there they are. Sesame You're seed. right. You're right. You freaked me Sesame out. Sesame chicken dumplings. Well, I got to cause a panic. <laughs> I brought them up. Because I know. I said they're like delicious. I, I hear I'm thinking that they're gone. They, they yeah. did one of those things where they changed the menu unnecessarily. Well, just to change things, right, Greg? Exactly. Well, for change sake. Yeah. Exactly. Oh, for no reason. we need to go. Speaking of Greg, you know, Greg likes to present himself as fancy. He, uh, he loves ice cream. <sighs> but is he classy the way he eats the ice cream? <laughs> oh. I can answer that right now. Resounding no. Uh, <laughs> pouring magic shell into the carton. Well, on the couch. <laughs> well, on the couch. Uh, I'm sorry, on the what? On the couchy, yeah. On the couchy, yeah. Uh, this woman, her name is Lucy Challenger. She's a formal etiquette expert from England okay. who lays out the, quote, proper way to eat ice cream. <laughs> Warning, fun accent ahead. If you were served ice cream in a bowl, you would eat it with a spoon. Ice cream served on a plate, for example, an ice cream roll, you would eat with a fork. If you were served cake and ice cream, then you would use both a fork and and a spoon. The fork is used to hold the cake and the spoon is used to cut and bring the food to your mouth. When the cone is presented, you should then proceed to lick the ice cream in swirls. In swirls. In swirls. You lick it in swirls. <laughs> okay. Is this the most big duh audio out there? Well, like... people are dumb because they say that people will bite the ice cream. You don't want to do that. Oh, you want to mm. lick? Yeah, you don't want to do the whole thing where you like put your your whole tongue out like kiss. Oh, sure. And go, uh, <laughs> and move, <laughs> Saint Bernard. Like, like, yeah, where the tongue just stays out and you move the ice cream around. Uh, the, like you don't want to do that. I didn't catch it. Do you? If you have a cone that's a uh, like a soft serve. Do you try to get as much of it in, pos in your mouth as possible? Oh, no. You also don't just grab it with yeah, your yeah. bare hand by the ice cream. Yeah, do you want to oral it? Yeah, Remember? do you want to like see how far you can get it? <laughs> just deep throat it. What was, that, what was that called, Menace? For There was a big internet thing for a while where people were ordering a soft serve cone and then, and and then, then grabbing it by the ice cream. It, yeah. That was dumb. That was just pranking. What yeah, a waste of ice cream, right, Greg? So sad. And you know she's legit because in the video she's wearing a Balenciaga shirt, so Ooh. you know, oh, wow. you, you know, you know she's course. fancy. Oh, wow. Ooh. Or is that yeah. a dress? I can't tell. Who cares? Uh, whatever. I think it's, yeah. I think uh, the accent it. makes her fancy. It's like yeah. a shirt dress. Yeah. All right. So here's what we got coming up for you next. It's another edition of Morgasms. <laughs> Morgan's Awkward Situations. And this time, because it's summer and the temperature is hot, things are getting real hot. At the ice cream store. All oh, right. Boy. Yeah. She's going in there because you know they'll give you free samples and stuff. That's right. That could be very invigorating. Yeah. <laughs> well, it is time for Morgan yes. to wow. let us listen in on how her trip to an ice cream store went for this round of Morgasms. Good morning, Morgan. Good morning, y'all. What's up, Morgan? All right, so you brought us ice cream, Morgan? You know, I thought about saving, you know, the one that I actually bought at the end of this to bring it in, but it's just one scoop. So it didn't have to be. Imagine it. Didn't have to be, it. It have to be just yeah, one scoop. Yeah, you could have just brought <laughs> yeah. ice cream. You know, they'll sell you well, more. Right? If only they had more there. Yeah. yeah, they only had one scoop. Weird. Yeah, that's so weird. Like, wow. Going but out I, of business sale. I'll teach you how segments work in the future. I thought of it though. <laughs> wow. Anyway, <laughs> so Morgan, one of her heroes, is Sasha Baron Cohen, Borat. She loves that movie, yes. Borat. Like, so all that kind of stuff is, you know. Brilliant. What makes her laugh? It makes me laugh too. It's great. It all started when she went to the nail salon and was having these over the top uh, <laughs> reactions. Really, like orgasmic reactions to just getting her nails done. I had a great pedicure. It was a really yeah. great pedicure. And then myself. Gina is the one who said, Man, morgasms. Like it's just right in the, there. It was right there. Yeah. It was so mm -hmm. effortless and it just all came together just how it should be. Yeah. And so now that the weather is hot, it's summertime. And so she goes to the ice cream store. And you know they'll always give out the uh, the free samples. Sure, mm -hmm. love that part at yeah. the uh, at the ice creams because you see all these good looking flavors. You're like, I wonder if it's really as good as it sounds. I want mm -hmm. all the samples. But it sounds like these are really good. 
delicious. Yeah. Mm. So you walked in. Yeah, it had been a long time since I'd been in an ice cream shop, first of all. Yeah. They have so many flavors. Oh I don't my know God. the last time y'all have been. Where, so I'm like a little Where have you been that you haven't even walked by one? I haven't been to an ice window. cream shop in probably 10 years. Yeah, what? She hasn't been. Yeah. She's always working out, Menace. She's not yeah. going into the ice cream yeah, store. Yeah, but like, she doesn't eat like you us. don't walk yeah. by one? I, I, I walk by it. I don't see the flavors. Anyways. I walk in, employees there, ready to help me because not a single person in there. Oh, no. Don't know how they stay in business. You got their whole attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So I'm like, okay, here we go. And I'm like, well, let me see. But the funny thing is, as she was there, of course, because this is like the middle of the day, it's yeah. summertime, so people start coming in. Right. So there's there's other people that are uh, filtering into the store oh, yeah. as she is uh, trying uh, these different samples. Here we go. Morgasms and her <laughs> first sample. Hey there. How can I help you? Hi, uh, I just want to try some samples. Okay, um, do you see anything you want to try here? Okay, yeah, I want to... I really love nuts. Um, can I try this pecan <laughs> praline one, please? <laughs> All right. One second. Here you go. <laughs> oh, mmm. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, I haven't had ice cream forever. <laughs> oh, that's good. Oh. Uh, did you want to get that? Um, uh, can I try another one, actually? Which one? You... Um, look for... Let me see. Uh, did you want to get that? <laughs> what? Ooh, uh... He's like, you really like that one. Yeah. Dude, this guy one is having done? like the best day ever. Yeah, oh, he sure. loved it. I think yeah. so. And what there was, was his facial expressions? He was... La well, he's already smirking kind of uh -huh. he'll start laughing soon but there's another guy in the back that i think heard me too and another employee yeah mm -hmm. who's just doing stuff in the back yeah, the guy helping him looks to be like what like mid-20s he's like 25 ish yeah. yeah like maybe doing like a you know just a little summer job That's kind right. of thing right, right. maybe he's in second college gig or, or I, yeah. I don't know yeah or just a loser i don't right. know but <laughs> So there's another guy working in the it's back like, this too. This is the best day ever. That's after this first taste, yeah. I can tell that the guy working in the back is slowly, like, you what know, what the hell's going on? Making his way to the front yeah. to right. see what's going on. All right, Morgasms so. Ice Cream Store, sample number two. Uh, did you want to get that? Uh, no. Uh, can I try another one, actually? Which one? Let me see. Ooh, how about baseball nut? Baseball that nut. That sounds good. Is that one good? Here you go. Oh. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> right over there. Oh God! Oh. This is so good. Can I get you a scoop of that? Let me try another one. You all right over there? Oh, oh, you have him so God. flustered. <laughs> yeah, and you should you should have seen his face when he's like, "Do you want that one?" I'm like, "No, one more." And he's yeah. like, "What?" Uh, I thought you liked it. Yeah, and you really seem to like these too. Yeah. Oh. Right over there. Yeah, right over there. Oh God. Oh. By wow. Way, Baseball nut is a real flavor, apparently. Yeah. Oh, so. yeah. Woody, it's like in uh, the porns that we watch <laughs> yeah. together every Friday night. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> and the minute the woman gets her boob touch and she's just... Yeah, yeah. not yeah. even not like even on the nipple. Like barely crazy. touched. Yeah. Yeah. Just, like the minute you put the spoon to your mouth. Oh, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> barely tasted it. Oh, right over there? Yeah, right oh, over there. Oh, God. <laughs> 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 so at this point the dude's like cracking up awesome. yeah, like not yeah. even trying to hide it he is yeah. laughing so hard i wonder how many like because i went in there i oh well i told uh, morgan go in there like how many samples will they give you right yeah oh, so, so far we're up like, to two i'm yeah. assuming endless I'm assuming, <laughs> oh at right. this if point you could be there all day yeah, yeah. <laughs> right yeah oh so yeah let's try another one all right here we go let me try another one all right um <laughs> all right let me see. I like nuts in my mouth. I want to find one that's. Um... Uh, you know what? Let me try this uh, almond fudge one, please. Okay, one second. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> oh my god. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. Can I get you a scoop of that then? <laughs> um. Yeah, oh, one more. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> At this point, he's kind of looking yeah. around like, where oh my are their cameras at? You yeah, know? yeah, he's getting a good god thinking, out. Like, oh my god, I'm getting pranked. <laughs> oh. Yeah, yeah. Which, yeah. Like, oh my god. <laughs> oh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's like, you know, like we said, like in his 20s, so he's like, yo, like, bro, yes, what are so you doing? Yeah. Oh, you right over there? That's so good. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> right over there? Yeah, yeah, right over there? <laughs> 
<laughs> now, uh, in, in any other situation, would you find the ice cream guy hot? Would you? Were you embarrassed? Um, mm-hmm. He's not bad he was... looking. He's just not my type. Oh, okay. Uh, no. okay. Probably a short king. Yeah. You know? oh, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. No, not a short king. He just had gauges, long hair. Yeah. I'm like uh, a skater bro. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Did you hear him like, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah, like, bro. yo, bro. <laughs> Best yeah. day ever yeah. at work. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. All right, so this is uh, Morgasms, Morgan's uh, awkward interactions. She's at an ice cream store, and she's ready to try one more sample. Mm-hmm. Okay. Let's see how that went. Can I get you a scoop of that, then? Um, oh, one more. Okay, nutty coconut, please. Yeah. All right, there you go. Uh, uh. Oh wow! Oh, oh, okay. Oh, that's so good. Oh wow! I don't know what's uh, going on, but I need you to, you know, decide here. I guess. Oh, oh wow! Okay, so wait, get one more sample me. Now. Uh, no, I think that's enough. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, yeah. So, wow. Cut you off at four. Yeah, I think that's. Jeez. I think that's enough. You know? Oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, at this point, there's people literally waiting oh, yeah, yeah. behind me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. It's like 4 p.m. Yeah. By the way, I did ask her. All adults. Okay. Good. All adults yes. in the. Uh... Yes, there were no children. <laughs> oh, God. Date yeah. night. I need yeah. you to decide what flavor. Yeah. yeah. Well, hold on. She's, she's about to decide. She's yeah, tried all these right. different flavors. What does she go with? That's so good. Oh, wow. I don't know. It's. Uh, going on, but I need you to, you know, decide here. I guess. Oh, okay. Oh. So can I get one more sample or no? Uh, no, I think that's enough. Uh, okay. Uh, you know what? I'll just do vanilla. Vanilla? <laughs> yeah, just uh, <laughs> vanilla, please. <laughs> After vanilla? All, yeah. vanilla? <laughs> vanilla? Wow. He almost looked offended. At yeah. Like, yeah. Like, what? Bitch, <laughs> what? Uh, it's so funny. I don't know what's uh, going on, but I need you to you know, decide here. I guess. Uh, okay, uh, you know what? I'll just do vanilla. <laughs> vanilla? <laughs> vanilla? <laughs> what? Vanilla? <laughs> How rude. The bartender cut you off and you went vanilla. Right. Yeah. Oh, and then God. ask for a tip, please. Wow. <laughs> so yeah, great ice cream. Yeah, it's really good stuff. Yeah, you know? it sounds like it. Yeah, very <laughs> creamy. Wish I had some. Yeah. So yeah. I try very it. satisfying. Oh yeah. my God. <laughs> Uh-huh. I, I love uh-huh. that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One more time just so we can hear the <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> wow. It reminds me of uh what was the dude where's my car? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Did the guy in the back ever come say? out to the counter? Uh, he kind of like pe- once there were people behind me. Yes, he's uh-huh. kind of like yeah, yeah, coming yeah. out because I don't know along. if he was sweeping or what. Yeah, back there. yeah. He's changing but, pants. But at, <laughs> at, at that point, he was definitely aware of what was well, going Morgan, on. Well, Morgan, nice work. Oh, oh well done. Great success. I mean, other than the fact you didn't bring any ice cream, give yeah, me a lot of yeah, emotions. No, that was a fail in that yeah. part. It's the Woody Show. Well, the feedback is uh, strong from Morgasms. Very right nice. Oh yeah. Nice work, Morgan. Ice cream, so ice cream taste testing. Delicious. It did remind me. So oh, that one clip where the guy's like, "Yeah." Oh yeah. <laughs> right, I mean, I'll, I'll replay that one. If you missed this segment, it'll be on uh, today's podcast, obviously. But- oh my god. Oh. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> nice. It reminded me. I was like, "What is that reminding me of?" And then all of a sudden, it hit me. It reminds me of um, uh, what is it from um. Damn it. Uh, old, school. Uh, old school. Old school. Uh, Frank yeah. the Tank. Frank the Tank takes the trank mm-hmm. dart mm-hmm. into his neck. That's the most powerful trank yeah. gun on the market. All right. huh. Got her in Mexico. Cool. Yeah, it is cool. They say it could puncture the skin of a <laughs> rhino from a hundred... <laughs> Ow! Yes! <laughs> That's awesome! Yes! What? You just took one in the jugular, man! <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> nice. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Shout out to Sean William Scott, right? Yeah. Yep. I tell you, he was a great guest. We had him in years ago. I forgot yeah, what we movie, but um, incredibly nice. Yeah, he mm-hmm. was. He was a lot of fun. Nice. Really uh, nice. Like, yes. As we've said a thousand yeah. times with these things, if you're that employee, this is your best day you will ever. Yes. Have. Not yeah. only that day, not only of that like that like shift ever. in the history yeah. of that job. <laughs> Why tell her she needs to leave? Yeah, we yeah. had this uh, chick come in one time. Yeah. Cause what? Okay. So if you get. If you get fired, what, you can't get another ice cream store job? Right. Yeah. 
There's not enough of those jobs, guys. Yeah, if that chick, if that chick Morgan that walks into my yeah, that chick, she can you. stay here all day. Yeah, thank I'll, you. I'll, I'll, right. Shop whatever she Let's wants. Hang. Why not? Yeah. What is your favorite ice cream flavor, Morgan? Um, not that's vanilla. A good question. Probably, mm, probably cookie dough, like cookie vanilla dough. with yeah. cookie dough. Yeah. Right. yeah. That sounds classic. Cool. Yeah. yeah. While the whole uh, Microsoft cloud strike outage still causing problems, yesterday Delta had to cancel over 820 oh, flights. They're so backed up. Which is about 21% of their daily schedule. Mm-hmm. Oh. So that thing is still playing out. Dude, I got a bitch be tripping story involving my wife. She took my son to the Apple store. Okay. okay. There was a okay. thing going on with, uh, <laughs> with his phone. Right. And so they went to go get it checked out. And, you know, my wife always likes to make small talk and be super over the top friendly. She's very nice. Okay. That and bitch. No, I'm saying, no, but I'm saying she, in her attempt uh, to do yeah. that, she walks in. They go, hey, how are you guys doing today? Oh, we're good. Hey, so have you guys been all like uh, backed up because of the outage today? <laughs> At the Apple store. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Even Greg understands why that's funny. Yeah, exactly. Because the mm. Apple store is not using Microsoft. <laughs> yep. Good point. <laughs> oh, like, it's so like, sweet. It's Busy like day. asking the people at Coke if the pets, Pepsi <laughs> problem is affecting them. Yep. Oh, she's Bitch be so tripping. nice. Oh. Isn't that adorable? That's so cute. That's, that yeah. is a really sweet attempt at small talk, though. Like topical. Yeah. She knows what's going on, kind of. Yeah. Right. I'm hip. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so yeah. cute. I thought that was she's funny. adorable. Uh, the opening ceremonies of the Paris Olympics are on Friday, and uh, this isn't about the games or really sport at all. It's about the cardboard beds that the athletes sleep on. We've heard about those and just how durable or not durable they are for, you know, possible slamming for yep. sex right. stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway, this uh, this one guy, fun with accent ahead here, this, uh, this guy checked out the beds. He's already there because a few athletes are already there, and they're posting videos, testing them to see how sturdy they are. He's an Irish gymnast. Oh, okay. He's uh, jumping, he's running, he's body slamming, even headstanding on one of the beds to test it out again. Fun warning on the accident. I'm at the Paris Olympic Games and I once again have these cardboard anti-sex beds. When I tested them last time, they withstood my testing. Maybe I wasn't rigorous enough though. No, they passed the test. It's fake. Fake news! It's fake! Oh, it's fake! It's fake. Oh, fake news! Fake news! Can we buy one of those fake, beds? Fake news! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you we wouldn't yeah. last on one of those I menace. Mean, yeah. This guy can have sex on it, but can menace. Right. Yeah. This He's got to be like a ripped gymnast. Half of either one yeah. of us. Right, He's a gymnast. Here's a natural base cardboard bed, sustainable and minimal. Ooh. Oh, good. Oh, God. But how comfortable weight? could that be? What's the weight capacity? Not. Let's see. 150 bucks. Oh. Mm. Jeez. Oh, da, da, da. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like kind of like cardboard tubes just put on their side. Okay. Oh, will it hold me? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want to know. So, wow, it says 7,000 pound capacity. What? It says, You're good. It literally says. Dude, our, they can get two of We could both be on there. <laughs> oh, now. my God. <laughs> two of us. 69. Yeah. Our beds are so strong that'll hold you, your partner, and up to 33 other people. I'm no joking, way. Joking, yeah, just obviously. in case. Oh, wow. wow. For a big Olympic wow. orgy. Oh, my God. It makes no sense. Yes, it unfolds kind of like an accordion. Have you ever had that uh, that packing material that's kind of like... Oh, yeah, yeah. 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 Zigzaggy. You know, right. They, they started making uh, couches like that, too. It unfolds like that. Now, hold on. This is just the base, though. Then you put a real mattress on top of it. Okay. I would hope yeah. so. Well, yeah. They're not sleeping on cardboard. Well, then what's the point of calling it a cardboard? It's the base. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Like I mean. the box spring. Right. Well, this, that, to me, that's kind of like fake news. That's uh, that's fake news. Why? That's fa- why is that fake because news? Because it's not I, I, it, 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 fake news. Yeah, yeah Matt, I, Greg, I see your point. Because it's not a cardboard bed. It's not a cardboard bed. Yeah, but you it's, could, it's like, what's supporting it. Like if you put okay, your cool. mattress on cinder blocks, it's not a brick bed. Right. right. Thank you, Greg. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah, this is all like hi- hype for yeah. big. You the know. whole premise. I feel like I've but been lied to. But even with the mattress on there, you'd be questioning whether this cardboard base can hold you. Not really. No, I would not. I think a few books would hold you. Right. Greg, I think what you know? we found this is this is the definition of clickbait. It's fake, fake news. <laughs> Thank you, Irish guy. Wow. Yeah, okay. Because <laughs> this whole time, I, I'm because we yes. these cardboard yeah. beds Gina came up Greg. last yep. Olympics, and I thought they were lying on the cardboard. No, and that's I was, why I said, how but like, could you why get would a good they be? Yeah. Why would, like they're homeless in a subway station. Why would they be laying on yeah. cardboard? I always well, because he called the, base. the anti-sex mattress. Even, they did, they the prisoners to. aren't sleeping on cardboard. Yeah. There's, yeah, it's a bench okay. that's got like a okay. real thin, right? The prisoners, mattress. real thin mattress. Let's, let's on use it. prisoners. They're sleeping on these metal bunk cots with a roll. So you don't call that a metal bed, right? They're sleeping right. on a mattress. 
No, I, the yeah, bed I, itself is cardboard. Yes, and so, to call it anti-sex also <laughs> makes no sense. Exactly. The, no, because the question was about whether it'd be able to support two people, right? Like the weight of see, with a cardboard two bed. people oh, see, that's, banging. That's on a it. stupid question because yeah. you have power lifters who are probably close to three hundred pounds. You know, shot put discus guys who are essentially NFL like you linemen. Maybe you wouldn't, they you had stronger saying, cardboard. You wouldn't question that if it was the the metal base right. at the prison you wouldn't like question whether block. that can hold the I, question was hold with the cardboard right. base i see your point mm -hmm. but i would question if the cardboard quote mattress would hold me i wouldn't question mattress. if a cardboard uh, uh base. What, what did we call it a base box or spring. a box spring, spring. thank yeah. you i wouldn't question that because you could lay down almost anything i don't know as a box i never spring. i never yeah, once envisioned on a mattress physics. made of cardboard I'm with Woody. I, I never maybe because i saw the video either. from last year or whenever this last time it came up i always right. knew it was or the base. last olympics whatever that was I, i'm mm -hmm. with these guys because if you're going to call it a cardboard bed that sounds like something you do for staging for a house and then you take the sheet off and it's totally. just a couple of yeah, hollow those fake right. boxes. But when yeah. you go when you go to buy a bed it is the base true True. Like yeah. semantics, the bed is not the mattress. But yeah. we've seen from but, like Sochi and other Olympic, you know, situations where they were living in squalor. So why not put them on a cardboard box? I mean, anything seems possible now. But, but I think in this context, that's why I thought the actual mattress is cardboard Same. because they're complaining about yes. it. Who cares what the base of your bed is? Right. Thank you. It could be a bunch of bricks. Really? We've we've beaten them. See, in a weird huh. way, this is where I feel smart, and I feel like you guys are dumb. Well, yeah. here's my <laughs> question. Though. Like, this is opposite. That whole thing. No, because if you are smart enough to, like, let's say you're like, what are you, Menace? And you that's super, that's like super uh, literal. Right, yeah. but that's but then if you are like, what are you, Menace? And you realize that's what they're talking about, just the base, not the actual then mattress. It's not a then it's not a story. It's a non-story. But like, exactly. what would a, okay, so you yeah, guys but, thought there really was a, a cardboard mattress. What yes. would that look like? That's the question. Exactly. And that's why they complained about it in the last Olympics. And I okay. felt bad for them. What, we're putting athletes but, on cardboard? If it's the base, it could be, you could put a mattress yeah, on the but floor. The, Who cares? Uh, the story is, the way it was framed to me is I always knew it was the base, but I didn't know how strong the base was. And they presented it as, uh, it's not strong enough to, to have, hold the bed, to have sex on top of it and to can't hold, the, hold the people. But yeah. you do bring up a good point, C Bass. There are that giants there, there, at the Olympics. There's, yeah, there are power lifters. So you could hold what, a, maybe, one power lifter or five Simone Maybe Biles. they had stronger cardboard than the others. I don't know. No, and the way the story was framed was poor Olympians are sleeping on cardboard. Yes, right. Yeah, exactly. That's how the whole thing was framed. Like, oh my God, how are they going to, yeah. they, these are pro athletes. We're right. putting them on They're going to hurt their back. Yeah. I did. Maybe because I saw the pictures in the videos. Yeah, I just I never, never I was never confused by it. I knew that there was a mattress on top, but I did picture it to be more of a cot like type mattress so that it would affect more if it was cardboard underneath. Like you could feel it. Yeah. Right. Like a mattress topper. Right. Man, sex on a cardboard bed. Imagine all the burns. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> like paper cuts are one thing, oh cardboard cuts. It, like you're breaking down a box no and like, bueno. ooh. I mean, God. I know we're, we're, there's disagreement in the room, but this was an eye opener for me. Wow. For years, I thought they meant cardboard, <laughs> quote, mattress. How could they do this to our How elite they athletes? Do that? No, it's the who gives a rat's ass what the base <laughs> is. Right. More Woody Shows next.